Ciao a tutti e bentornati nel mio bagno. Oggi abbiamo Shannon di Elysian Soap Shop. E questo video sarà in inglese, ma tranquilli, schiacciate la rotellina e selezionate i sottotitoli in italiano. Hi Shannon, how are you? Hello. Doing Hi. well. Let's introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Shannon and um, I live in Pennsylvania in the Poconos Mountains and I am the owner and creator of Elysian Soap. Okay. And I was doing some research, so I don't know if that is the real Shannon that I found on, on internet, but I saw that you have on the side probably a stand-up comedian uh, company. No, it's not you. No, it's not you. So you just do soaps. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just soaps. Yeah, not comedy. <laughs> so she does these soaps that she sent me and uh, those are samples which are actually uh, very general samples, are very big. So, uh, and I, I already smelled that, all of them. Uh, they arrived one week ago. I didn't have time to try it yet, to test it yet, but I will do right after the video, maybe not tonight, but tomorrow morning. Uh, and I love the three cents, but we'll talk about that later. Okay. Can you please tell us how did you get into the soap making and also why did you choose the name of the company, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Okay. Um, I started about a year ago, actually. So I'm kind of on the scale of things. I'm, I'm a relatively new soap maker. Um, but I, I chose the name Elysian because it's, um, uh, the, to me, it conjures up images of magical and ethereal, pleasurable, It's actually uh, from Greek mythology. It's um, a reference to Elysian fields, which is basically like a pre-Christian uh, concept of heaven. So, mm -hmm. you know, very otherworldly, you know, I wanted to sort of bring those elements into my brand. Um, and uh, what else? I basically, um, you know, I started about a year ago and um, I really went into it wanting to make something with my hands which is a very sad, it's the most satisfying, you know, feeling is to make things with your hands. And, um, you know, we've all been locked away for a couple of years for the pandemic. So I had a lot of time to sit and think like, what do I want to make? And um, I was considering wine, I was considering, you know, crochet things. <laughs> um, and I settled on soap and, uh, I gave it to friends, I gave it to family, people started buying it from me. And I thought, you know, I want to make, um, I want to make a soap that I would pay a premium price for, you know, something really, really high end. And um, so I just, I just, um, I went into it very strategically. I didn't experiment with a lot of different types of soap making, you know, many soap makers will, um, they'll make all types of soaps, colored soaps and, vegan soaps and you know I went in and I thought I want these ingredients and um, I want these types of qualities from the soap and I just went in looking to make like a perfect so that was okay so you started got started you started straight with the with the shaving soap or you have also uh, bar no soaps? no actually um, I, I started with these yeah bar soaps so I started with bar soaps sorry I'll rewind a little bit But I started with these bar soaps and um, uh, like my earliest incarnation of soap was lemon poppy. So it's lemon poppy seeds. This is literally my first soap. Um, and you can see it's, it's not perfect. It's, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's me like, you know, working out the bugs, but, um, but this was actually like, everybody loved the soap so much. This is what started the whole thing. And then, you know, now I've got caramel and, licorice and you know all sorts of different flavors and, and scents and stuff but um the shaving soap itself um i i actually just um i wanted to make a, a good shaving soap to add to my line i had no clue about the wet shaving community i had no idea <laughs> <laughs> neither do possible? i when is i started this channel uh is honestly i started this channel while uh we were in the house for uh, COVID. 
So uh, I used to wet shave. I started to wet shave in 2000, like 2017, 2018, something like that. Maybe 2015. But I had no clue about all the work that was behind it. And when we were in the home, in the house, I started to watch YouTube and I said, hey, I might be able to do that too. And I discovered the world of soaps and stuff, which I didn't know. I, I just used Prorazo at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> is, uh, is wet shaving popular in Italy? Uh, very, actually very, yes. Okay. We, have, we have the biggest... Uh, import export uh, brand in all Europe, which is oh, Goodfellas. Wow. Yeah, you might want to reach at them. And uh, yes, it's very popular. It's getting very popular. And because of the, that's because of the cost of the cartridge razors. And also that, well, for me, uh, I, I got into wet shaving just because I wanted to give importance to the unique moment I used to take care of my body. I'm not the kind of guy that put creams and stuff. My wife always complained about that, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I started for that reason. Uh, you have to pay attention, otherwise you cut yourself. So uh, that's why. But yes, we have a consistent community. It, what the the impression that I get is that it, you know, like you said, self care, right? It's important. Yeah. It's an important moment. It's private, uh, yeah. um, unless you're YouTubing. <laughs> but um, also, it's uh, relaxing. It looks very relaxing. It is. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's relaxing to watch you guys shave as well. So now I've discovered the world of uh, YouTube wet shavers, and I'm watching videos, and I'm like, this is really relaxing. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> So yeah, I had I had no idea either, no clue. Um, same as you, I was very surprised. But what a great community! Everybody is so supportive of artisan soap makers. They've all been very encouraging. I get tons of feedback and just you know, it's you guys are are pretty awesome, pretty awesome group. So I'm happy about that. Yeah. Okay, so well, uh, what are the formula of your soaps? Because I believe are not the same as bar soaps. Yeah. I mean, I saw yeah. I saw the formula here. And what surprised me, to be honest, is that, you know, you put the ingredients and they are not in there uh, without reason. All the ingredients are in the right order to show which one is more than the others. And usually tallow-based soaps as the tallow first ingredient. I saw that you have uh, goat milk, I think. Oh, it? I have goat's milk in my bar soaps, but um, there's no goat's milk in the shaving soap. Oh, what, is, uh, what is in here? I was watching internet, sorry. It's distilled water and coconut oil, then stearic yes, acid, oil. and then beef tallow. Yeah, so um, actually the, the, most, the most important ingredient is the stearic acid. Um, I know okay. it seems like what is stearic acid? <laughs> it's a fatty acid. Um, yeah. So, uh, and coconut oil is what gives it lather. But um, the stearic acid is, uh, is the most important ingredient. So okay. it's really um, the key to making good soap is getting your fatty acids. Your fatty acid profile needs to be correct. Um, yeah. Needs to be you know, stearic acid, palmitic acid, mysteric acid in order to make it do what it does, which is you know, to get a great yeah. lather and stay stable and stuff. So, and but then um, yeah, shea I shea butter. Shea butter, yeah. Yeah, and cowling clay, which okay. are the most luxurious ingredients. They're, probably. Yeah, they're definitely very luxurious. Um, you know, I heard mixed mixed messages about clay and soaps. You know, some people say it dulls the razor, but I think your hair probably dulls the razor more than half a tablespoon of clay per pound. You know, so yeah. Um, yeah, to me, I, I can actually. Sorry, what you think? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's correct. Okay. Uh, okay. Your hair does it more than half spoon of per more pound. than a little bit of clay but the clay clay adds a silky feeling to the, to it you know so um i like i can tell the difference when there's clay or no clay and i like the clay so mm -hmm. i haven't had any problems with the clog razor or anything um not that i shaved my face or anything <laughs> um so yeah most importantly is uh the high quality coconut oil high quality stearic acid i use triple press stearic acid 
Um, beef tallow, I actually get from a local farm near here. They, they make it for me as fresh as it can possibly be. It's straight off the animal. Um, okay. And yeah, it's beautiful stuff. I work with a, uh, it's a company called uh, Slate, uh, Slate Butchery and um, they do a great job. Shea butter is, is just a really high quality yeah. butter. You know, it, yeah. it's, yeah. it does wondrous things, but it's also for label appeal because people recognize it. They know it's good. Um, glycerin, again, slip to the razor. So it slips, has, but also, a silk also it has yeah. a silky, but also it's a humectant. And so it, yeah. it, it adds moisture. It pulls moisture from the air, puts it in your skin. Um, Castor oil, uh, very similar as well to glycerin. It adds bubbles though. Castor oil makes bubbly. Mm -hmm. oh. um, cowl and clay and then test the silk. You know, I tested the, t the silk. Um, I can't tell when it's in there and when it's not in there, but it looks nice on the label. And I feel like it adds, it may add just a little, a little bit of magic yeah. to the soap. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it might be superstition. I don't know, but I can, I can tell. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And what about the scents and packaging of your soaps? And the scents, honestly, uh, are very peculiar, which is interesting. Are not the standard, uh, you know, people, <clears throat> I believe that people, when they start to do, to make soaps, uh, they start with very, you know, uh, easy scent, scent that everybody would love. You sent me actually cocoa orange truffle that is honestly like getting into a patisserie. And then cherry tobacco where I, I feel the cherry more. The tobacco comes out later, but uh, the cherry is the, is the stakeholder there. And is very nice, very, very nice. I, this is honestly my favorite uh cherry tobacco so uh, you sent me uh, cocoa orange truffle and cherry tobacco which is my favorite and then you sent me grapefruit mousse which i don't think I, I didn't touch the soap i don't think that the soap is a mousse is it no no it's is almost an art it's soap same. yeah it's yeah. almost an art soap and yes it's okay i, I is is a good scent is not my favorite, but is still something not very common or not common sense. Why did yeah. you do this, this choice? <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you do this to me? Um, I think mainly because I, I prefer gourmand sense. And, and so I tend to, you know, I tend to gravitate towards gourmand and fruit, fruit forward scents. And so I started there because those are things that I enjoy, but cherry tobacco is the, um, is the most popular, the one that you like this one. Mm -hmm. um, actually, this is the first fragrance I came up with when I was making my little notes, like I want to start a soap business, you know, put my notes. Um, I wanted a scent that smelled like my grandfather's uh, pipe tobacco. So, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, yeah, and it had like a cherry smell to it. The tobacco comes out a little bit later. I always err on the side of caution when it comes to strong scents because I would rather um, boost something later than lose a customer because you get one shot to make a first impression. And I don't want it to be overwhelming, you know? So, um, but I may boost the tobacco, like you said. It warms up and comes out, but you know, I want it to be a little bit more forward, I think. But I'm still playing with the, with the scents a little bit. You know, I always try and improve things. But, uh, but yeah, this one's very popular. I think my grandfather would be pleased if he were alive. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I just, I like, you know, I actually have, um, I have a little bit of a background in fragrances and, and flavors. I worked for some, sorry, my dog came up to say hi. Um, I worked for Luxiton, which is the French skincare brand that makes soap. Mm -hmm. And I also worked for um, Aqua de Parma uh, a, a long time ago, time. but. <laughs> Yeah, but oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, the, the fact that? that you have that you have a background in uh, in fragrances is uh, yeah. very clear because, in my opinion, is not easy to uh, do so uh, uncommon sense and make it pleasant. So, yeah, uh, yeah, it's you hard. did a great job. 
they're, they're not all, you know, some of them are going to be subjective. Not everybody is going to want, you know, chocolate orange, but, <laughs> um, but uh, I plan on adding some more staple fragrances later, but I'm always going to put an unusual twist on them because I don't want to just be another Bay rum or menthol. Mm -hmm. I want even to, though, have even my... though I do my own Bay rum. And do I can you? tell you that is different from everybody else's bay rum. Okay. So you might do yours. I want to smell this bay rum now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm curious. <laughs> um, but yeah, I always want to put a little, my own spin on things and person make them my own, you know, my brand. Yeah. So. Okay. And what about the packaging? Because these, you say that are, of course, uh, samples are two ounces. Yes. Uh, the standard package is what? I don't know what the standard sample looks like. I know I sent you big samples. I have. Oh big yeah, samples. yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> um, my packaging actually uh, is designed by a friend of mine. She's an artist. She's a painter, actually, um, mm -hmm. a traditional classical artist, and um, she did all these beautiful hand-drawn uh, illustrations. I, I don't mm -hmm. know if you can see them here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. these are actually her her original artwork. And we put these labels together. Um, I found the tins. I like the tins, um, but uh, I, you know, I like this style with the tin and the circular label. So my dog is making noise. Yeah, don't I'm worry. Sorry. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay. But and, yeah, uh, I, I. Sorry. What is the um, the quantity of soap that is in your standard packages? Oh, standard packaging is four yeah. ounces. Four yeah. ounces. So four ounces. Yeah. And the samples are two ounces. I know it's very generous. Very <laughs> it's a lot. generous, yes. It's a lot. It's a lot of soap. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, I wanted um, I wanted packaging that looked. Uh, I wanted it to look like an artisan soap, but I also wanted it to look a little more high end, like you might find it in a department store or something. You know. Mm -hmm. So that was what I was aiming for. I think she did a really good job with it. And um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. She did, and in my opinion, the 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 thing uh, will never die. Plus, is eco friendly, so I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. It's yeah. it's very good. So yeah, um, yeah. Her name is Alice McKinty, and she's on Instagram. I think it's AC McKinty Art, um, and she okay. does fine art. People commission her to do paintings and stuff. She lives in Portugal with her husband. Uh, he is a classical pianist. They're quite the couple. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so that's good. Um, and what, yeah, uh, go ahead. About the scents, are you planning on doing also aftershades or balm or is yeah. it just the soap? No, I was just going to say, actually, speaking of packaging. So the, uh, this last two weeks, um, I've been agonizing over packaging and, um, and aftershave. So I, I'm working on an aftershave. This is just a teaser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Very quickly passes in front of you. <laughs> Pay no mind. Um, but yes, I'm working on some matching aftershaves. Um, I chose to do uh, witch hazel based and not alcohol mm -hmm. um, yeah. just for now because I can't ship alcohol internationally. And That's true. A lot of my customers are from Europe and Asia. So I want to be able to send them things. <laughs> yep. But I may do an alcohol-based one as well afterwards. So right now I'm working on um, I'm working on packaging. I'm working on um, formulation. I feel like the the formula itself is nice. Um, I'm still messing around with the fragrances because um, I really need to nail the fragrances. So it's they're getting close. They're getting close though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, <laughs> so maybe it's something on your way ahead. Something that we will see soon. Yes, within the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Be oh, yeah. So, so it's not that far. Not that far. No. Yeah. Great. Great. And so oh, yeah. I found you on uh, Instagram. I also saw that you have a Facebook page. So where does the customer, uh, I, I wouldn't say European or Italian, I would say the customer in general can find you. Uh, just Instagram and Facebook or you have a website or something like that. Um, website would be great. Uh, it's just Elysian Soap Shop dot com, okay. and okay. it's the same ex everywhere. Elysian Soap Shop, Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, and dot oh, com. so they can find you on Etsy too. 
Yeah, I have an Etsy shop as well. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. So I will uh, I will put in description all all the uh, way to find to get a hold with you. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is there something that you want to say? Like I don't know, maybe let's say uh, way ahead or project for the future or collaboration or stuff like that that you want to spoil yeah. to my viewers <laughs> Some more spoilers yes there's a few more spoilers um uh for one i've got a retailer a, a big a good well-known retailer that uh is picking up my soaps soon so people will be able to find them in shops um in manhattan and um that's coming soon i'm not going to say who <laughs> um and then i'm also doing a collaboration um that should be again uh coming up in the next week or two that's with the groomsmen they're also a youtube channel it's five guys um mm -hmm. that review products and they're gonna do like a special uh a special thing with my soaps <laughs> okay so uh that's also coming up soon um i love to do collaboration so any you know just reach out to me like um instagram is probably the best way to find me if you want to leave me a message mm -hmm. um so yeah those things i'm super excited about and then um I just started fiddling around with perfumes. Like I don't even want to like advertise that, <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, I've just started, you know, messing around with like EDTs and stuff, but that's again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's a nice uh, idea to scale in your, in your, in your company, make it, make it bigger and do more stuff and suits people needs. So it's, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, well, you didn't try my soap yet though. No, I didn't. I actually, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you should try it right now. Uh, yeah. Well, I have to go dinner <laughs> to my parents. That's why okay. my wife was calling me, was calling me. So <laughs> yeah, I will try it tomorrow and, and then will be, this video first and then the next one will be the soap i i believe i will try i will test cherry tobacco which is the one i i prefer and that sounds good yeah yeah and yeah that's it so yeah. is there anything else that you want to share or uh no. we say goodbye no it was lovely to meet you and um, i'm so glad that you gave me a chance to talk about my brand and I just hope you guys stick around because I've got all sorts of tricks up my sleeve. There's going to be all sorts of fun stuff coming soon. So, Okay. So thank you very much for being on my channel. And I really hope that my customer, not my customer, my, my follower will be your customers. Uh, of course, uh, they, they, will, they are probably now seeing this video waiting for the review. But yeah. And uh, well, thank you very much. So now, ragazzi, se vi è piaciuto il video, eh, mettete un bel like, iscrivetevi al canale e poi andate a visitare sicuramente la pagina Instagram e anche le altre di Shannon per vedere i suoi fantastici prodotti. E come sempre, ci vediamo più vecchi. Ciao!